Got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. We about to get into Tamar Braxton's tour manager. He had a couple things to say about what happened that night. Um, and he giving his story time of uh what what happened with him. Okay. Or what happened with everybody else, girl, whatever. Tamar in that room. Wait. I want to say that again? To address the God assault. God damn. They used to start it breaks my they heart used to that start we stuff even have over. to go this route and even have to go back and forth on social media. For those that don't know, I am the tour manager for Sir. Hold on, y'all. James. Okay. David. Mooney. Tamar. In that room. I want to address the assault. It breaks my heart that we even have to go this route and even have to go back and forth on social media. For those that don't know, I am the tour manager for Tamar Braxton, the Love and War Tour. Uh -huh. Tamar was trying to figure out why hadn't Krishan, why didn't Krishan go out during the twerk session? Uh -huh. And she's looking at me and I'm like, Not nothing to cash up already, friend. Oh, girl, you ain't playing. Now, see, I like your style, Jessica. Make sure you stay on the stream so I can um get your information. You, Yeah, stay. Give me a second. No, like, Krishan, I, I don't know why she didn't go out. So, Krishan breaks down and starts crying. Tamar don't know why Krishan didn't go out. The tour manager didn't know why Krishan didn't go out. Nobody understand why Krishan had a mic. Got it. And I felt bad. And the Holy Ghost in me, because I get everywhere with me, I began... To give her a hug and everything like that. Because I like Krishan. I like her. And, you know, and I was like, I don't want to see nobody with their feelings hurt. Or I don't want nobody feeling some sort of way. Because there was a big line of miscommunication that took place. James. David. Uh -huh. So I began to try to comfort her and, and hug her. And be like, no, don't cry. Because it's not that. You know what I'm saying? We Nobody was trying to. I don't want you to feel no sort of way. And this was just in the dressing room. And this was me. Krishan and Tamar. Uh -huh. She felt embarrassed and she felt like, you know, that this is just like, that shouldn't happen to her because, you know, she was just prepared to go out during a twerk session. She's saying that this shouldn't have happened to her because she's Krishan and she was supposed to go to Chris Brown's uh, album release party. That's why. Also, she was embarrassed because y'all on the stage taking a mic, you know, treating her like she was a, a seven-year-old child. That's, that's why she was embarrassed. And that time had come and she didn't go out. So Tamar is still asking, like, well, what happened? What what happened? Why didn't she go out? And I'm like, Sh I'm trying to figure out what happened, too. Okay, he don't know what happened. Tamar don't know what happened. Uh, L. Troy, Troy don't know what happened. James don't know what happened. But everybody know that Krishan assaulted James. But don't nobody know what happened. Before that, nobody knows what happened upon the assault. And see, that's the problem that I have. So, um, David and Mooney come in. They both do makeup. And we're all at this point talking about what happened. Tamar is saying, Mooney, what happened? Da -da -da. Mooney was saying that Krishan was not on the side of the stage and when it was time for the twerk part. Mooney is a choreographer and he also does makeup. Mooney was saying Krishan was not on the side of the stage. So, like, well, what happened? So I began to try to comfort her and, and hug her and be like, no, don't cry because it's not that, you know what I'm saying? We Nobody was trying to, I don't want you to feel no sort of way. Uh -huh. And this was just in the dressing room. And this was me, Krishan, and Tamar. If it was him, Krishan, and Tamar, how did Troy come in and stop her from hitting James. I'm confused. She felt embarrassed and she felt like, you know, what happened, what happened? Well, who was, who was, who was there? Who can, like, what, everybody's screaming, what happened, what happened? At this point, Krishan is like, yes, I, I was on the side of the stage. I was there. And I was like, okay, and I'm, me, I'm trying to calm everybody down. Just let's do this, uh, a peaceful conversation because Krishan is upset. She's very upset. And I'm like, okay, I get it. Like, okay, let's calm down. Like everybody, let's talk this thing out or whatever. And then, um, a few more talking, 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 and then James comes in the room. So at this point, it's me, Krishan, David, Mooney, Tamar, James. James comes in the room and notices that Krishan is upset. By the mirror, Krishan is on the right-hand side. James is right next to her. He was consoling her, mm -hmm. and I was literally right next to James. Mm -hmm. And 
Tamar asking James, well, what happened? Why didn't Krishan go out there during the twerk session? Why the hell is Tamar asking James when James was on the stage as a background singer? Why the hell would James be responsible for singing in the background and at the same time making sure Krishan was supposed to come up there on stage as well? I'm not, it's not making sense. And James said, we was looking for her on the side of the stage and she was not on the side of the stage. Well, what happened? What happened? Well, who was, who was, who was there? Uh -huh. who, and Krishan got very upset and she was like, I was on the side of the stage. I was there. Where, where else would I go, man? You lying. Like, that's Cap. I was, I was on the side of the stage. Uh -huh. Like, I was there on the side of the stage. I was there on the side of the stage. And James said, no, no, you, you wasn't. We called for you there. Krishan said, say, say I wasn't there one more time. Say I wasn't there on the side of the stage one more time. James was like, I'm telling you, we was calling you and you bop, 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 bop. I'm like, oh shit. Literally happened just like that. And here I am, like, this girl just hit this boy a couple of times with them big ass rings on her finger. And I'm just like, no, this is not happening. You thought to yourself, no, this is not happening? When Krishan would have been up in the air? Because if they trying to tell me that Krishan just hit this nigga and they just let her walk out, I think that that is crazy. So here she go, whooping his ass, y'all in the room, but everybody decided to look at her walk out. think that that is crazy this is not happening this is not and Krishan got very upset and she was like I was on the side of the stage I, I was there where, where else would I go man you lying like that's cap I was I was on the side of the stage like I need the rest of this live so she hit him a few times and somehow Y'all let her walk out. And in that process, Krishan concussed him. His nose wouldn't stop bleeding, and she chipped his tooth. This story is absolutely not aligning with LaTroy's story. And y'all want to know why this is even worse? Because LaTroy wasn't even in the damn. He wasn't even in the room. <laughs> How you gonna tell a story? You eh, wasn't in there. <laughs> Yo. <sighs> that nigga said, I'm not about to watch. My friend get hit and not say nothing. That's what he said. I'm not about to watch my friend get hit and not say nothing. Because I know y'all know to watch me watch. Okay, see. Watch and see. His story is not adding up with LaTroy's story. LaTroy's story not adding up with Tamar's story. I need to see uh, this full live him. Yeah. I hope this is it. Ah, thank you. One thing y'all gonna do is find it for me. Hello. Rob Hatcher. Rob Hatcher. All right, Rob. I needed to rest. I need a bag of chips. Y'all need something. I'm about to go get me some chips. Y'all need some. a second to, um, to come on in the room. Oh, God. I hate that I even have to do this. I hate that I even have to do this. But I, I'm going to tell because I'm going to tell the truth and what the truth is. So I'm going to give y'all a second to, to roll through real quick. Larry, cut it. My, my problem is this. 
Mm, that's how we start. My problem is this. I was in the room. Okay. I was next to James. There were... It was me, James, David, Mooney, Tamar in that room. I want to address the assault. I want to address the assault. That's what I want to address right now. Uh, because that is what is at question. I, is at is question Mooney is Troy? Assault. And it breaks my heart that we even have to go this route and even have to go back and forth on social media. For those that don't know, I am the tour manager for Tamar Braxton, the Love and War Tour. And what I'm going to address is the assault. Mm -hmm. We were in the room. Yeah. At the end of the show, mm -hmm. Krishan walked up to Tamar. Troy brought her out a cake. Tamar put her hands in the cake. She had a right hand full of cake and some cake in her mouth. And Krishan came out and was like, where you going, sis? Mm. Gotta go on stage. And I'm looking like, huh? Like, what's, what's happening? And Tamar, like, the, the show is over. What do you mean? She said, I'm about to go on stage. And she's like, huh? You ain't, you ain't been out? You haven't went out there already? Because she was supposed to go out during the twerk session. How didn't Tamar she see that? She, she, Krishan hadn't been out. So I was like, come on, ladies, let's just take this in the dressing room. So we went in the dressing room. And in the dressing room, it was me, Tamar, and Krishan. Tamar was trying to figure out why hadn't Krishan, why didn't Krishan go out during the twerk session? Uh -huh. And she's looking at me, and I'm like, I don't know. Like, Krishan, I, I don't know why she didn't go out. So Krishan breaks down and starts crying. And I felt bad, and the Holy Ghost in me, because I carry it everywhere with me. Holy I gosh. begin to give her a hug and everything like that, because I like Krishan. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I, like I do. Her. And, mm -hmm. you know, and I was like, I don't want to see nobody with their feelings hurt, or I don't want nobody feeling some sort of way. Because what feelings? Y'all wasted her time. Because there was a big line of miscommunication that took place. So I began to try to comfort her and, and hug her, and be like, no, don't cry because it's not that, you know what I'm saying? We Nobody was trying to, I don't want you to feel no sort of way. And this was just in the dressing room. And this was me, Krishan, and Tamar at the time. As the time went on, Krishan was explaining that this happens to her all the time. And she felt some sort of way because she felt embarrassed. Mm -hmm. She felt embarrassed and she felt like, you know, that this was just like, that shouldn't happen to her because, you know, she was just prepared to go out during a twerk session and that time had come and she didn't go out. So mm -hmm. Tamar is still asking like, well, what happened? What, what happened? Why didn't she go out? And mm -hmm. I'm, like, I, I'm trying to figure out what happened too. Uh -huh. So, um, David and Mooney come in. Who they was David? Who was Mooney? And we're all at this point talking about what happened. Tamar is saying, Mooney, what happened? Da -da -da. Mooney was saying that Krishan was not on the side of the stage. And when it was time for the twerk part, Mooney is a choreographer, and he also does makeup. So why didn't Krishan punch Mooney in the face when he said that she wasn't on the side of the stage? I, I'm just, I'm curious. Mooney was saying Krishan was not on the side of the stage. So it's like, well, what happened? What happened? Well, who was, who was, who was there? Who can, like, what? Everybody's screaming, "What happened? What happened?" At this point, Krishan is like, "Yes, I, I was on the side of the stage. I was there." And I was like, "Okay." And I'm me. I'm trying to calm. Everybody now just let's do this uh, a peaceful conversation because Krishan is upset. She's very upset. And I'm like, okay, I get it. Like, okay, let's calm down. Like, everybody, let's talk this thing out or whatever. And then um, a few more talking, talking, talking. And then James comes in the room. So at this point, it's me, Krishan, David, Mooney, Tamar, James. Uh huh. James comes in the room and notices that Krishan is upset. By the mirror, Krishan is on the right-hand side. James is right next to her. He was consoling her. Right. And I was literally right next to James. Right. And Tamar asking James, well, what happened? Why didn't Krishan go out there during the twerk session? Mm -hmm. And James said, we was looking for her on the side of the stage and she was not on the side of the stage. And Krishan got very upset and she was like, I was on the side of the stage. I was there. Where, where else would I go, man? You lying. Like, that's Cap. I was, I was on the side of the stage. Like, I was there on the side of the stage. Uh-huh. And... James said, no, no, you, you wasn't. We called for you there. Krishan said, say, say I wasn't there one more time. 
Why didn't anybody else hear that she wasn't? Why? Like, last call for Krishan, first call for Krishan. You telling me DJ Scott didn't hear it either? Because it's given y'all didn't call her. Say I wasn't there on the side of the stage one more time. Jay was like, I'm telling you, we was calling you and you. Bop, 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 bop. She said, don't say I'm like, oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> Literally happened just like that. And here I am. I swear, like, Crystal. This girl just hit this boy a couple of times with them big ass rings on her finger. And I'm just like, no, this is not happening. This is not happening. She just hit this a man. Is not happening. Not a boy, a man. I get Krishan to the other side of the room. Grown man. At this point, James' face is leaking with blood. Mm hmm. She going off saying, man, that's cap. That's cap. Da 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 da. Everybody is shocked. And I mean shocked because, mind you, I like Krishan. I'm still at this moment trying to de-escalate everything like I don't want this to go left like this is this well, is too late crazy. it's already this left is all craziness that's okay and I'm like Sean you gotta calm down everybody you gotta calm down like this every it's a lot of yelling at this point Mooney and James get her ass out of here da, 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 da. you know I'm like okay everybody calm down I got Krishan on my right hand side now she's at the back the, the door is right there I'm blocking Krishan on here because at this point she on go. She like, well, what's up? Like her defense is all the way up now, uh -huh. and people trying to get in the door, and I'm stopping people from coming in the door. Troy was one of the people that I stopped from coming in the door. Troy is one of the people that and you stopped I'm from like, coming okay, in the door. Oh, y'all, let's got some let's shit? we gotta talk this out. We cannot. This is crazy. Tamar walks over to Krishan. That is like she said. That is like my blood brother. You mm. cannot just go hitting my blood brother in his face. Mm. What is wrong with you? What's happening? Mm. Mm. All of this is all of this is going on. Everybody's emotions are on 100. And then Krishan, I got Krishan out of the room when Bandcamp came in the room. Bandcamp came in the room, got Krishan out of the room, and that was that. I walked out of the room and I called the police. Mm. So in the video that she just made and said, well, why wasn't the police there? Why wasn't this there? And actually, to tell the truth, I caught I, we had there were 28 security guards in that building that day from the no. 28 security guards and they let Krishan walk on stage during Love and War. 28 security guards and they let James get hit in the face. Where the fuck was Tamar security at? I, I, security team. I was 28. Now. I'm over it. I went to the head of security at Novo and I asked them, I said, I need somebody to get up here right now. Somebody has just been assaulted. They asked me questions. They said, who? I said, James. I said, can you call the police? You know what Novo told me? Novo said they cannot call the police. I had to call the police. Why the hell you asking Novo to call the police when you got a phone as well? I'm... It sucks that this shit ain't adding up. Uh, real shit. <laughs> this shit ain't adding up. I went and called 911. You can call 911 our public records. You can call 911. You can check the records right after immediately happened. I called 911. It took the police over two hours to get to the Novo. We were, I was not leaving until the police came. I was not leaving until the police came. It took the police over two hours to get, it took them over two hours to get to the Novo. Two hours? Hell, that's why Krishan was gone, if that's the case. The police did come. A police report was reported. This whole incident, this whole incident is horrific. It's crazy. And make it, and then for everybody to jump online to say something about Tamar is wild. Everybody say James is lying is wild. Nobody had nothing against Krishan. I love Krishan. 
I love the ratchetness. I love the rowdiness. I love watching her on Zeus. I love her with um the baddies east, west, north, south, all of that. Krishan said one thing that was absolutely correct when she did her um, live today. Mm -hmm. She said, I'm that bitch. God got me. And she's absolutely correct. For somebody of her stature to come from where she came from and to somehow manage to garnish the hearts of over 5 million people that follow her on Instagram. Yes, she is that bitch. For somebody to have a song that a whole stadium can recite. Yes, she is that bitch. For somebody who can have a hit reality TV show, I'm sorry. Yes, yeah, she is that bitch. And for somebody to say otherwise, they are clearly hating. She is that bitch. But guess what? Krishan hit the wrong bitch. Because guess who else is that bitch? James Rice Chanel. And he did nothing to her. He did nothing to her. He was consoling her. And she popped him a couple of times. And that's why his face looked like it looked. And if you are in the public eye multiple times like you are, you would not show your face either. I was there when the police came. I was there when the police left. I literally flew to New York. I can't believe they didn't record none of this. I cannot believe that. The next day, hopped on a plane, flew back to L.A. I have recorded all this shit. Because it was just a lot going on. And it was just like, I hate that all of this is happening. I hate that all of this is happening. I hate that everybody trying to blame Tamar. I hate that everybody trying to now all these talk this talk all this stuff. Because this tour, Love and War, we are supposed to be celebrating 10 years of a great album. An album that helps so many people um, through whatever times. Music saves people. You know what I'm saying? That's what we're supposed to be celebrating. And for this to happen, I hate it. 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 I hate it with everything inside of me. And I really wasn't going to say anything. I don't like to get into drama. I don't like to say anything. I, don't, I stay neutral in a lot of things. I don't like to take people's sides. I don't like to... I stay neutral. Right is right and wrong is wrong. But when I, when I got online... And I seen the, the DJ, DJ Sky, and Krishan was saying, I didn't hit anybody. Um, I, I didn't this. No, it, it, that's, not, that's not true. And y'all know it's not true. And Bandcamp did not have the music. Y'all know he didn't have the music. And the videos that you're seeing, you're seeing we do a tribute to Tracy, which is what we do before we end the show with Love and War and Tamar comes out. How did Krishan get the microphone? Because the iconic, legendary Tony Braxton was had a microphone on the side of the stage, and when she walked off the stage on her set, she had that microphone still sitting over there. Tony Braxton sat a mic down. Y'all, I am completely in confusion for so many reasons. I don't know why Krishan would look down to see if it was a mic somewhere or uh, that I don't know. Not only that, DJ Sky talking to the DJ. Like, where was the people that were coordinating the tour? If he's the tour manager, how did you let Krishan get a mic? I don't understand that. Because normally, when you're on a production like that, as soon as Tony Braxton is done with that mic, that mic is then handed to another person. Because that person has to control that mic. Not only that, the DJ had the power to cut Krishan's mic off when she came out there. Also, if, if Tony Braxton put the mic down on the side, that means Krishan was on the side. 
I don't think they called Krishan to the stage. That's why Krishan feels like she was set up because they never called her to the stage, bruh. They never called her to the stage. Keep this part in. So Krishan had a mic because Tamar wanted her to come out and speak. Oh, my. She like, where she at? They like, she right there. I want to bring my Baltimore sister Hi. out. Hi. And then DJ Sky is talking to the DJ. And DJ Sky is absolutely handing him music. Because what else would they be talking about and what else would he be connecting? You can hear when Krishan Mike was cut. Can't like this, Let me get the singers. Damn. 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 So, Where the lights at? Can you turn them bitches off? Oh, oh bitch, Why is the light? Hi, how you doing? Yeah. Who are these other women on the stage? Child, she didn't know what to do. She really didn't know what to do. Yeah, whoa, whoa, whoa. And now she shouldn't have been doing all that. Period. Because Krishan, what are you doing? But she didn't know what to do. And it shows. Welcome all of my hometown, Tay Martians. You can tell they never expected her to take over and do all that. Yeah. I mean, I'll take Martian national anthem. Never more. I love you so much. All right, we can't we can't do that. It sounds like somebody said cut off the microphone though. Yeah. Oh, she said turn up, so turn up the microphone. Turn up the microphone is what she said. All right, so we're not going to listen to that cuz that's a copyright, but okay. Okay, other people was able to sing. Now, Krishan Mike was supposed to be cut. Okay, and she was over there. I wouldn't have brought her up during, during Love and War. I ain't gonna cap. Then James was acting ratchet on stage also before Krishan came out. So does she let everybody sing or what's going on? Was Krishan Mike still on? Oh, uh, Mike was definitely still on. Why? That's why she said that she had enough. Tamar, you need to be mad at your staff, too. Like, girl, we're going to be mad at everybody. Be mad at the staff, because that child would have never had that mic that long. Girl, it is a, uh, oh, man. That's a mess. That's how she got that microphone, because that microphone was on the side of the stage. Well, that's a lie. We just caught you in a lie right there, my boy. She called Krishan out there. That's my whole point. Y'all, they keep lying. That's why it's hard to believe them because y'all lying. Krishan clearly had a mic because she was asked to come on stage. That's a lie again. <laughs> so if she did hit him in the face and he did start bleeding and all this other shit. Bruh, how the hell can we believe you? How? 
That was a lie. DJ Scott talking to him about that music? That was the truth. What the hell is she talking to the DJ for? If it wasn't for music? This is crazy. No cap. She was not supposed to come out on Love and War. Love and War is the ending of the tour. So when she's out there, of course, what is Tamar supposed to do? Hey, y'all, this is my sister. Da, da, da. Tamar had no idea she hadn't came out there before because Tamar was in the back or whatever. DJ, the, the band camp did not have the music. As you see, she was up there trying to airdrop the music to him. I'm the one. Why is she trying to airdrop music? Who told DJ Sky to get off of the stage because... At that point, I really honestly didn't know what was going on. Why is she airdropping music to him? And I was like, yo, you got to get off the stage. This is a whole production going on. This like, is what are you crazy. Doing? Like, you got to move. And she she wasn't taking to what I was saying. She's like, I'm DJ Sky. I'm Krishan's um, DJ. And I was like, oh, okay, you got to go, though, because we in a show, babe. Like, you got to go. And when I tell you I was I was being nice <laughs> and, and I'm not taking no sides or anything like that, my spirit, everybody who knows me, you can try to spirit by the spirit. You know me. You know me. You know me, and I am not a mean person. Now, I, I can have some choice words. But in this case, I love Krishan. That's the crazy thing. I love it. But it wasn't a vibe that night. It was just like, it was like horrible. And I, and I just wish um, that it was a vibe because it would have, you know, been great. The outcome would have been great. But it was like, here's the thing with that. When people say cloud chasing... Um, Tamar has sold millions of albums. Like we, nobody has to clout chase. This tour, this tour, the LA show was sold out weeks before. I hate the clout chase word, but the thing is something happened for a reason. Cause what y'all saying happened is a lie. <laughs> I don't know about the fight part. Y'all that's still up for discussion. Cause I don't know yet. But what I will say is the rest of it is cap. Rashawn did not find that damn mic. You called her out there, period. You called her out there. And hell, if you not lying, it don't seem like you telling the truth, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Y'all got a horrible way of trying to tell the truth. For before real. we even got to L.A. Weeks before we got to L.A., the show was sold out. Every show that we have done has been sold out. Nobody has to clout chase. Nobody's looking for anybody to do anything. Every show was, every show was sold out. Thank God. Thank God, because God favors us. God favors this team. God favors Tamar. Every show was sold out. And when you get in the audience, the, the audience, if you've ever been to a Tamar Braxton show with the real Tay Martians out there, the millions and millions of people that follow her, they know all of her songs verbatim. I literally sometimes sit in shock and people still know these songs from 10 years ago. And I'm like, hello. Child, I know the whole album, okay? But something still ain't right. No, <laughs> she's a Braxton. <clears throat> the Braxtons are like the black versions of the Kardashians for the African-American community. And I, I mean, and it is what it is. They are all iconic. <clears throat> they are all iconic and everybody knows who the Braxtons are. So it was like, nobody needs any clout to do anything. Nobody needs any... Nothing. The show we've had iconic, legendary people in the audience that have not mentioned a single. We did not mention that they were even there. They were just coming to see the show. Nobody needs anybody named to see a show. I hate that all of this is misfortunate. I hate. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it because everybody. And I look at everybody as a, as a good person. I don't see the evil in people, and sometimes that's my problem as tour manager because I do know that there are evil people in the world, and I just wish all of this would go away. And the only reason I am saying something and I got on here because my friend is injured and he is hurt mentally and physically. And I don't like that because we came to do a show. We came to get the people what they wanted. The people um, had an amazing time at the show. Everything was great. And then to hear somebody say, oh, um, whatever she said, be careful or something like that. Baby, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. You say you love God and God is this. The weapons will form, but they will not prosper. The weapons will form, but they will not prosper. And sometimes what people really need in life is a good, good, good reality check. And as much as I love Krishan and as much as I love the ratchetness, 
There is a time and a place for everything. And it really, really, really was a horrible, horrible situation. And I'm just like, you make it. And, and Tamar really, I'm like, it was like damned if you say something and damned if you don't. She was, tr you know, trying to say something so that everybody won't think that, okay, well, what type of friend is her? She's not saying anything. But it's like, I knew all of this shit would happen. Like, I knew every everything that's happening, I knew would happen because I know how social media can take something and run with it. I know how social media can take something and run with it. But if you know that, you should have recorded. Point blank period, I would have. If you know how social media is, baby, this should have been recorded. No, the police were called. The police were called. I called the police. I called 911. If anybody wants to go get the records, I'm sure you can pull them up um, from the Los Angeles County or whatever district we was. Child, somebody pull up the record, girl. I, that I don't know how to do. The Novo <laughs> and pull them up and go go hear it for yourself, you know. And, and I was not the only one that called 911. Chris Sibley called 911 as well. You know, so I don't worry about people threatening and doing anything or doing anything like that, because let me tell you, the joy of the Lord is my strength. And one thing about this team over here, <laughs> the Holy Ghost, provide, the Holy Ghost is, is with us throughout all of the way for, for, for that, for this particular tour to sell out all of the shows. And she has not did this album in 10 years. You know, that ain't nobody but God. That ain't nobody but God. Nobody but God. And one thing that I don't really worry about or worry about anybody that I deal with <laughs> is God is walking with them and God is talking with them. And I want to end this live on a prayer. I want to pray for Krishan. I want to pray for everybody that's involved in this situation. Because at the end of the day, God is going to get the glory out of this somehow, some way. All right, y'all, when people start praying, I like to go on by my business because I like to pray for my own self. Hallelujah. Amen. All right. I just want to say, uh, the math ain't math. Do I think all these grown people decided to come and form a lie? No, I don't. But is the story making any sense? Absolutely not at all. If Krishan picked up the mic on the side, why did Tamar call uh, Krishan out there? Why does she look as if, like, where is she at? But, you know, where is she at? Why did that happen? Um, in order for Krishan to come on stage, she would need a mic, right? Um... Okay, so that's how Krishan got that mic. She was called to the stage. Um, also, for, hit, for her to hit him three times, however many times she was hit. Matter of fact, before that, why the hell would LaTroy come out and say he was, he damn near act like he was there. He act like he was in the room when that happened. Um... That's also a lie because he said that he watched it. You made it very clear. He did not because he wasn't in the room. Um, I mean, so many questions here. When one, when your story don't add up in court, if you tell one lie in court, they dismiss it. <laughs> Literally, now she gonna get in trouble if if Krishan did put her hands on that man, and uh, he did have uh, you know, uh, teeth chip whatever the hell all that was. If that happened, she still would get in trouble for that. But they ain't gonna get no money. I ain't gonna lie. I don't know if he's looking for money or what. She would have to pay for his injuries and things like that. But uh, yeah, they don't do well with lying in court. Y'all ain't even got y'all story together. We got three different stories. So. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below, girl, because this is a mess. Um, I wish all parties the best, though. Lord knows I don't. I, I wish he didn't get hurt if that be the case. But y'all, it just don't seem it, it don't seem true. 
it don't seem true. And this whole probation thing with Krishan, why the hell she ain't locked up yet? That's the next question. Why is she not locked up? If all of this for, you know what I'm saying? If all of this happens. So, girl, I guess we just going to keep up. I guess we're going to keep up. Um, he said it was 28 security guards at that event in Atlanta. I don't care if the kids have an event at school. They got the police there. So I'll never understand why y'all had a building full of people and not one police officer. I never understand that. Um, I'm done though. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. Actually comment it. I will react to y'all's uh, comments tomorrow. All right. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.